When rescuers saved Zeus three years ago, he was half starved and more than half blind. Now he and a crew of more than 80 other rescued cats like Jade the Leopard never miss a meal or a treat. They all get um, balls of mush, so they're either like um, a golf ball, a tennis ball, a racquetball, a softball, or baseball. So like bobcats will get sometimes like a baseball. Carol Baskin has plucked exotic cats from horrible homes since 1992. Her 70-acre big cat sanctuary serves as a permanent refuge and home for animals literally scarred by misguided owners who thought they could tame these wild animals. They are the most magnificent species on the planet, and yet they are being chained and whipped and beaten and kicked, shocked with electrical prods. While rescuing big cats is her passion, Baskin also fights to ban cub petting, where tiger owners sell pictures taken with tiger cubs used as props, until, that is, peril overtakes profits. It produces over 200 cubs a year once they are about 12 weeks old and can't be used any longer, who then get dumped into the private sector as pets. And of course, lions and tigers are horrible pets. So about the time they reach 200 to 500 pounds, these people can't get rid of them fast enough. Baskin's mission isn't cheap. It costs about $4 million a year. Much of that for the 500 pounds of raw meat gobbled up every day by these felines. My goal is to put myself out of business and my happiest day will be when every single one of these cages is empty. I'm Jessica Sanchez reporting.